global markets are in total chaos as Europe has threatened to impose an immediate ban on Russian oil starting next week amid the worsening crisis in Ukraine. The move will likely push oil prices to explode, further impacting the price of commodities and triggering even more supply chain disruptions as shipping costs skyrocket. The consequences of this next round of sanctions can affect the entire world and plunge the global economy into a deep recession. Even JP Morgan analysts are extremely alarmed about the potential consequences of the ban and consumers are going to be hit the hardest by widespread price hikes. Before moving on to today's discussion, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our all-important upcoming videos. Now, the global supply chain crisis is of course nothing new. Several countries have been experiencing backlogs since the onset of the health crisis. But now, sanctions and route closures are creating disruptions that the system was completely unprepared for. The Russian aggression in Ukraine has spiraled the effects out of control in recent weeks. The impact of the conflict is already having far-reaching repercussions on international trade, sparking extensive shortages of commodities and raising prices all across the board, from wheat to fuel. When resources are limited, prices can only go up, and the costs are absorbed like a chain reaction. That's why Europe's plan to impose an embargo on Russian oil is triggering so much alarm. Until about a week ago, the EU was still split on a potential ban on Russian energy imports as the biggest European economy, Germany, continued to resist an immediate action, saying that an oil ban would plunge the country, Europe, and the entire global economy into a deep recession. Other countries, including Hungary and Austria, were also opposed to an outright ban on Russian oil. Even though the EU is trying to put an end to its dependence on Russia's exports, it takes time to make such a drastic shift. However, this week, the European Union has started to draft the sixth package of sanctions against Russia, and it has warned it is ready to impose a full, immediate ban on Russian oil after next week's French elections. If the bloc follows through on its threat to expand sanctions to all Russian oil, the effects on prices can be devastating, according to JP Morgan. Despite the explicit intentions of Western governments to cripple Russian energy production, loadings of Russian oil have so far been surprisingly resilient. In fact, Russia's current account balance is at all-time highs. But according to J.P. Morgan's commodity strategist Natasha Keneva, who has reviewed various scenarios, should Europe expand its sanctions to include Russian oil, any immediate embargo measure taken by the European Commission will have a severe impact on the global oil market with risks to price entirely to the upside in the short term, she warned. In an interview with Bloomberg, Caneva said that Brent crude prices could soar by 65% to as much as $185 per barrel in the coming months. Even worse, a full and immediate embargo is likely to hurt global consumers more than Russian producers in the near term, the strategist said, adding that the ban would cut over 4 million barrels per day of Russian supply from the global market. In all the scenarios analyzed by Keneva, it's obvious that Russia will turn to allies to buy its exports of crude oil and other oil products. China and India have both already increased the volume of purchases of Russian oil in the past two months, and Turkey has also continued to expand its purchases of Russian oil toward pre-2020 levels in spite of the conflict in Ukraine. Now, these countries are building massive oil reserves, but, but much of the rest of the world cannot afford to go against Western sanctions to do the same. In the United States, the White House announced earlier this week that the U.S. would release 180 million barrels from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve over the next six months, 
in the largest release in history. Likewise, the International Energy Agency's 31 member nations plan to release 120 million barrels from their emergency oil reserves, including 60 million barrels from a previously announced drawdown from U.S. stockpiles, marking the second coordinated release of emergency oil from the agency in just over a month. That indicates that global oil reserves have been stretched thin, and governments and central banks are scrambling to control surging gas prices, which have been accelerating inflation growth over the past few weeks. Moving away from Russian oil and finding other supplies can be a complicated and time-consuming process that can result in a series of negative consequences for the global economy until normal conditions are restored. This means that an immediate ban would leave many countries around the world in deep trouble to source and to pay for oil from other suppliers. The urgency to impose further sanctions on the Russian economy comes after dozens of photos of a mass grave in the city of Bucha, located near Kiev, sparked outrage on social media as thousands of civilians were tragically victimized by Russian forces. The strategy to wait until after the French election to launch the embargo is, of course, political. According to Zero Hedge analysts, Europe's bureaucrats are correctly terrified that the coming oil price spike to push the vote in Le Pen's favor, which is why Europe will wait until after the election, when Macron will supposedly be the next president of France, as Belgium hopes, to announce it publicly. In short, a ban on Russian oil exports would make the entire world suffer, as the price of transporting goods around the globe would have a catastrophic knock-on effect on consumer prices. Shipping prices are already at stratospheric levels. Since the conflict broke out, freight rates were hiked between 300 to 700 percent by some companies, and those costs can rise even more, causing further disruptions to global supply chains. At this point, businesses and consumers are already feeling the pinch of the rally in commodity prices of everything from crude oil to grains and metals. The year's highly volatile commodity markets are compromising global economic growth prospects, and shoppers are already witnessing sharp increases in grocery prices. The surge in commodities, including crude oil, natural gas, wheat, soybeans, and industrial and precious metals, have already hit consumer prices globally, with inflation at a 40-year high. As noted, Dolly Hansen, head of commodity strategy at Saxo Bank, during a weekly commodity market update last week. The prospect of continued supply disruptions from Ukraine this year together with the U.S. and South American weather concerns, as well as the mentioned rise in the cost of fuel and fertilizers, will likely lead to another year of tightening supply," Henson continued. The crisis in Ukraine and increasingly tough sanctions against Russia have uprooted multiple supply channels from crude oil and gas to key industrial metals, as well as food commodities such as wheat, corn, and edible oils," he added. On a similar note, Tracy Allen, another commodity strategist at J.P. Morgan, alerted that inventories across energy, agricultural, and metals are critically low everywhere. For that reason, the bank sees commodity prices staying elevated through the end of 2023. Even if peace is reached in Ukraine, markets are likely to price in political risks for commodities such as oil, wheat, corn, nickel, and palladium, according to the strategist. Futures markets anticipate oil prices to remain elevated for years, J.P. Morgan noted. In short, more pain is ahead for consumers all around the world. Oil price spikes almost immediately led to higher prices at the pump. For every $42 rise in the price of a barrel of crude oil, the average household will spend an extra $500 annually on gasoline. J.P. Morgan's managing director and head economist for commercial banking, Jim Glassman, said. 
On top of that, businesses dependent on raw materials and transportation will face further challenges in the months ahead. If the rising cost of commodities and oil continues to spill over in the core inflation, this could ramp up levels of food insecurity even in developed nations. The oil ban could also disrupt more materially exports of energy products out of Russia and wheat and corn exports out of Ukraine, the so-called breadbasket of Europe. Reduced exports of Ukrainian agricultural commodities could lead to food riots and worsen hunger crises and famine around the globe, IHS market warned last month. Millions of families are already starving, and those in hunger extend far further than the ones in battle. According to estimates released by the International Food Policy, only a quarter of the 24 million tons of wheat Ukraine usually exports will actually leave the country this year, leaving many nations that heavily rely on those supplies struggling to ensure food security for their population. Furthermore, given that the sea carries more than 80% of the world's traded goods and that oil price hikes have a major effect on shipping costs, inflation is going to soar all around the world this year. When freight rates double, inflation picks up by about 0.7 percentage points, and the effects are quite persistent, peaking after a year and lasting up to 18 months. This means that the increase in shipping costs observed in 2021 could increase inflation by about 1.5 percentage points in 2022. The consequences brought on by higher energy food and shipping costs could weigh on the global economy and plunge the entire world into a major recession. The global supply chain currently stands on the brink of a complete disaster, and the coming price shocks threaten to push it over the edge. <laughs>